Welcome to Road to Glory Youth Edition Career Mode with All Limit Athletics. Hi, welcome to episode 88 in this FIFA Road to Glory with All Limit Athletic. Um, we are in season 7, first episode of season 7. Um, and we are just about to advance into the preseason. <clears throat> Before we do that, I'm just going to do a quick to see what type of if there's anyone that actually need a contract. We have Haynes and uh, Dixon. They are on one month and uh, we're going to lose them. They're going to leave us, of course. Um, then we have another well, we have a few others that we might have to attend to when it comes to giving them new contracts um, or selling them. Duarte is... Uh, well, he's the backup for for Aduama, so he, he should have a, you know, a, a contract. Um, Alright. Let's close Season 6 and open season seven. Getting a few players back from loan. Um, Vilalba. Might have to do something about him, maybe. Well, let's see, let's, we get Berizovski back. We have uh, Weaver and we got uh, Philip Olsson back. Not sure how many of these. Maybe Berishovsky will be able to get some first team. Well, not first team, sorry. Rotation side uh, games. We'll see. We might have to, to transfer list a few. Maybe send, send some out on loan again. Um, but we'll have a look at that at, when we finish this season. Let's have a quick we, this is never tiring you know watching this league table 24 wins out of 38 games 10 draws only four losses scoring 93 goals you can see a lot though is there anyone else that can see as much as we do well Manchester United conceded 43 we've conceded 46 and yeah, then, then it's uh, Leicester and down. It's so, but we scored the most out of all the teams in, in uh, the Premier League. I guess we can thank Pratt for, for that. Winning the Golden Booth. He was just insane. Look at, look at this top score table. In 38 games, he scored 44 goals. That is insane. And then we have Saunders, uh, 17 goals in 34 games. As his, you know, he's a central attacking midfielder. That's really good too. Uh, we've seen that before though. Those two. Uh, Wang usually be up there, but he, he haven't played as a striker uh, that much. So I think that's why. Let's end the season. They are delighted with our performance. They should be. We did win three cups. And we got the Premier League, the Carabao Cup, and we got the FA Cup. So the only thing we missed out was when we got knocked out in quarterfinal of the Champions League. So it's a pretty decent season to be fair. So the preseason tournament. We don't need the money. 
we have so much money we can't buy any play well we can buy one player if he's a, a, a region for this season so we have one play to buy but we don't really have to chase the money we'll see we'll see what we end up in we got international the brazilians then we got villarreal and we got athletic club uh, they were mexican too right that doesn't matter this will be good so yeah so this is the group of course we are gonna sim not playing uh, the preseason let's see what our transfer budget is let's go 80 20 so we have 192 million euros to spend that's insane we have 40 players right now we're gonna jump into the second because that's when that's when the the ones that signed pre-contracts for other clubs are gonna leave us so let's let's jump uh, we have two scout reports let's see what they say it's uh, Northern Ireland not gonna cut the Fitzpatrick could be interesting let's sign him to the Academy same with McNally let's sign him to the Academy I'm gonna reject Hogan looks amazing 1.12 let's sign him to the game he's 17 we could you know maybe we can maybe we can bring up some fresh youth talent you know to play in in the carabao to, you know just giving us some squad depth um we have a squad depth right now with 40 players but you know it's always fun with new players oh yeah so we had another report that i forgot to have a look at it's the Ireland uh, Nesbitt won't make the cut and uh, Riley will not make the cut even though he had a 90 sorry Kane McLaughlin will not make it and uh, Healy so that's tough let's get rid of these let's come we can keep these two we're gonna have a look at the transfer market as well. Um, I just need to check the squad now. We are 38 players. Um, let's. Livingstone's gonna be suspended for a European competition. Um, that will be all right though. Part of loan. Web haven't grown anything yet. Rogers is 63, for you is 62. So let's let's transfer the list also. No transfer list. I'm gonna transfer list. Villalba as well. I don't see any use of him. We're gonna go with Saunders Reynolds, meaning that Dominic Weaver, even though he's a 73 and he's a 19 year old, showing great potential, he's gonna be transfer listed. Because we have Reynolds. We have one of the world's best and then the backup has potential to be special. So he, he's, these two are just insane. And when it comes to our, well, we, these are out on loans. Richards is transfer listed. Berezovsky, he's showing great potential. 73. Duarte is 74, is 18. And Berezovsky is also 18. So these two are pretty similar, to be honest. Then we have, of course, Adwama, 87 rate. So one of these need to go 
I'll send him on the loan list again. Uh, just because if Duarte or Adoma get injured, we can recall him if he get out on loan. We got Pan lost the potential at 17, so let's transfer list Pan. Yamamoto. I'm gonna give him a new contract. He doesn't have any. He do, does not. Let's send him out on loan, see if he can grow. And we're at Rice, we're gonna, we're gonna transfer this to King. I think I'm gonna bring in any free agents right now. I mean, I can't go through and check the other leagues as well. I just checked the free agents now, but. I don't see any point when I have the players that I have. I mean, we could, Webb is not a high rated central back, but he's strong, he plays well. Um, the other one are growing. And I think Reich, he stopped and uh, Smith stopped. At a 88, and that's okay. I can go with an 88 central back. Um, I'll, I'll just, I'll just continue to go with these guys. You know. So we have a transfer offer for Clayton. It's a good offer. They offer us Neymar and 70 million euros for Clayton. And um, the problem is I can't, I can't accept this, you know? I can't accept this at all. An 86 rated Neymar, it would have been interesting. <clears throat> I can't use real players, so I can't accept this. I don't want to sell Clayton either. Not even if, if uh, well, a club like Paris Saint-Germain or you know one of those big European clubs, if they come in with a uh, a big deal, not a swap one, because I can't use real players, so I'm gonna turn this one down. But other one, other you know, I'll just I could consider it, but now I'll just just you know I'll reject it. Can't use it. I don't want to sell them. I don't want any players into the club uh, that I can't use. Doesn't matter. We lost uh, right scores, and uh, then Villarreal beats us. Tough start. It's a really tough start. So we have a loan offer for Berchowski and Aston Villa wants. Well, I will. I will accept it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Henry Stone to Frankfurt. Yeah, I don't think so. It's our first play, first team player right back, so no. Not selling. Especially not to a team that is you know not one of the big ones. We are going for the Champions League. Second game coming up, I'm gonna try and give King some game time now instead, so he doesn't whine. 
Let's give Newton, let's bring in Briggs. And we still have five players in national duty. So, second game is a draw. We could see that Wright scores again. He starts as well, two goals in two games. So we send Bereshovsky out on loan. That's beautiful. Hopefully he's gonna, if we get injured, we can always recall him. And if not, he might grow faster. A loan offer for Yamamoto will accept that. And we have a swap deal for Rikes. Yeah, I'm just gonna view the So he's a real player, so I can't use him either. So it's gonna be a rejected. I don't want to to lose Rikes either. I mean, he's been with us since what first, second season, somewhere that second, I think. Yeah, I'd like him to stay with us. He's <clears throat> he's a good player. Him. We're not going to make it through the uh, group stage anyway. Uh, it's a 0 0 draw. So we will send out Yamamoto to KAA Ghent, the Belgian league. Beautiful. He's going to get some experience and, and valuable practice. Hopefully, he can gain a few. Maybe even get back some of his. Potential. It's good. Bayern München comes in with 141.6 million euro offer for Clayton. Though, if you look at that, his value is between 179 and 263. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna sell this guy for less than 200 million. Not that I need the money, but I don't want to sell him. He is an extremely important part. I will negotiate it because it's by Munchen. Now, if they can agree terms and stuff, I'm gonna lose him. But. Let's start with 200 million. 15.0 That's, I mean, that's a fair. What do you say? 141, yeah, you're not gonna do anything. I'll do a counter. <coughs> I'll add a cell on, I want 20%. And I want. I want 200. How about that? Fine luck. Well, sorry. They didn't want to splash the cash. They're not gonna get it. That's how it works. You can't come in with a, a shameful bid for a play value 200 and something million and say it will pay 140 no he is the key i mean he's the yeah for you who've seen me all season games when clayton plays he, he is the one that helps out the defense so i'm not losing him so richards Accept Lee Richards, and we have an offer for transporting Lissabon for Ian Livingstone, 76 rated. 
it's a good offer the thing is i don't want to lose i don't have any on else i have one out on loan but he's a lot livingstone is, is a first team player i don't want to i'll reject because i don't want to lose him i don't mind if you go for my <clears throat> rotated players but don't go for my first team especially when we're doing the big champions league push So we sold the Richards, we have an offer for Wilson, and we will accept. And we have sold Wilson, meaning we have come down to how many players do you have in the squad now? We have 36 players in the squad, we're gonna get rid of two more. I close the cam there and uh, we'll continue now with the game. In the Charity Shield when we play Manchester City, we are playing them at the Wembley Stadium, of course. And uh, this is a chance for us to get the first silverware of the season. It's... Uh, well, I want to win this one. <laughs> because I haven't won the Community Shield, of course. Um, since I haven't won the FA Cup nor the Premier League until last season when I won both. Um, but now I want to get the, my hands because this could be my only shot at the charity, a uh, community shield. Sorry. So this is the players. We're going with the first team, and um, they are looking sharp. Let's see how how good they are now, and let's see if we can beat Manchester City. Not gonna be easy, but we're gonna do what we can. So come on, boys, let's go. Building to a crescendo all week, and very shortly it will be for real. We have all the action for you live. Hello, and a warm welcome to Wembley Stadium here Please in London. I'm Derek Ray, I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And with the league season about to begin, we have action coming up from the curtain raiser, the Community Shield. It's Oldham Athletic facing Manchester City. Well, these games are about getting players fit, both physically and mentally, but there's also trophies to be won. Community Shield, tick that box. I've won that a couple of times. I've also lost it a couple of times as well. It should be a cracker, Derek, that's for sure. De Bruyne. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Gives it a go. In it goes. That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. The opening goal of the game then. It's with Joao Cancelo. Saul. Herrera. Oh, nice ball. Can he put it in? And it's gone in. Just what was needed for Manchester City, who now have squared it. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Ferran Torres. The inside route looking promising. So the game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Salazon. Wasteful from City. This could be the equaliser, and it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. He runs at them, and Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. 
and able to get a body in the way. And it's a quality pass. Oh, surely. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Having conceded, Manchester City know they've got to come up with a response. It looks promising. Can he do it? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And the big news confirmed Manchester United have succeeded in getting their man lead. I think he'll add some real quality to this new club. He's a team player. I'm sure he'll settle in quickly. A proper pro. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Is this the moment? Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it in. Flank for City here. Can he take advantage? Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good. A change in the offing for City. That's not a bad ball. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily have seen yellow. And a timely penalty save. So the corner played into the box. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. An effective challenge. And he's made headway. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Over it comes. But he couldn't quite keep the header down. Goal kick. A card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Ah. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been away comprehensively. Well, that's a well-timed pass. He's in position. Will he? And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Full-time, most satisfying, a victory in the curtain raiser to the season. Well, a trophy, Derek, is a trophy, and they've deserved that today, played very well. They won't mind its pre-season at all. Not in the slightest.
And now the players posing for the images that will be sent around the world, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. Enjoy it. Have five minutes enjoying these moments, but it is pre-season. Got to make sure that you put that to the back of your mind now. A lot of hard work to be done. Bigger trophies around the corner. That is just beautiful. Six goals to three win against Manchester City in the first game of the season and the Community Shield final on Wembley Stadium. First silver into the prize cabinet. Thank you very much. Hopefully there will be more. For instance, the Champions League one. That would be beautiful. But we did play strong. We played well. We got quite a few goal scorers. Interesting to see our right back Stone getting the first goal after I think that was a you know he ran from his own goal line almost up and scored so that was a beautiful run and um, I'm really proud I'm really happy I could never imagine that we would score six goals against Manchester City but we did I'm not going to apologize for that I'm going to take it and I'm going to enjoy it next up the league premiere it's us playing Liverpool but that's for the next episode. This ex episode is done. The first episode of season 7 is done. Episode 88. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't. And be kind to each other. Make someone smile. It doesn't cost you much, but it's valuable. I'll see you guys in the next episode. But till then, you walk good.